Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these retro dainty earrings. They are done really easily and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure you're going to be able to make them by yourself until the end of this video. And don't forget to subscribe because I have matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. And believe it or not, this is a bracelet that is done with the same pattern. This in the center is the same pattern here. And I will give a link to it. But if you subscribe with the bell, you will never miss a thing. And you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And uh, see how it works with change colors. Almost beyond recognition. Okay, so if you like what I'm showing you here, uh, you could subscribe also to my second channel that is Bijuteo Fast Clips and I make short clips of those that I'm showing here for 20-30 minutes. I make them only into 3 minutes so you could see the whole project and decide if you feel like making it or not. I have it down there in description. And you could also like, share and comment and this is a great support. Thank you for that, by the way. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store, and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Uh, if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with a list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for these earrings are three colors, 11 0 seed beads or you could use 10 0 seed beads if you want. These are ear wires in this beautiful old gold color. This is Nemo beading thread, that is nylon thread, 0.2 millimeters thick. This is size D and here I use size 10 beading needle scissors and you could use pliers to go through the difficult beads but they are not obligatory. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and I have my arm span of thread on my needle and I'm going to pick up two chameleon beads. I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread. And here guys, what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making it by making here a loop going twice through the loop I made. And I pull and now I'm going to make one more knot just like this and pull again okay and i will go through one of my chameleon beads okay like this now i have this okay and now i'm going to start the so-called herringbone stitch if you don't know it don't worry it's easy okay i take two c beads and as i'm exiting through one of my beads i'm going here through the other one and I pull then what I do is that I go back through those two beads just like this okay now I have two rows of herringbone stitch and I'm going to take two more seed beads and I go back through the the next bead that is the, the neighbor of those that I'm exiting out of then I go in this direction with my thread and I go through the next two beads in this direction then I'm going to take two more C beads go back in this direction then through those two beads and again I'm exiting through those two beads. If you can do it in one movement, if not, you could do two movements. Okay, now I take two seed beads and I repeat this. Go back, go here and through those two beads. Okay, now guys, I'm going to continue this herringbone stitch and when I have 24 rows, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and now I have 24 rows and what I want to do is close this into a circle, okay, just like this. And how I do this, as I'm exiting from this bead, I will go through one of the first beads that I added here, okay, just like this. And I pull, 
okay you see what I have here then what I do is that I go through the other bead of those first beads that I added okay I will remove this tail thread and go through it okay like this now I have this and I pull then I go through this bead uh, okay and I will go through two more beads okay in this direction because I want to reinforce this joint and to make it stay nice and tight okay guys and after I do this several times now I will flip my work this way because I want this tail thread to be at the back of my, my work. Okay, this one is here in the center and I will cut it later. Now guys, I'm here exiting out of this chameleon bead and what I want to do is go between those four beads. There is a hole between them, just like that and I'm going here in the center of my work through this hole okay now I'm here in the center and now I'm going to take just one bead and as I'm here in the center and I have one bead I'm going in the next hole between the four beads okay I'm exiting out of this hole and going in the next one and I pull okay now I'm here at this hole and I'm going to take a golden a red and a golden okay this is what I have and now pay attention I'm not going in this neighbor hole but I'm skipping it and I'm going through the following one Okay, I have this and I pull, okay, then I exit here at the back and I take one red bead and as I'm exiting from this hole here, I'm going in the neighbor one. So in the inner circle, I'm going in the neighbor hole and at the outer so circle where I take three beads, I skip one hole and go through the following, okay, now I have this, then I take one more and just to turn my work in this direction to see, as I'm exiting from this hole, I'm going through the neighbor hole, through the closest one to my thread okay now a golden a red and a golden and I skip one and go into the following okay guys and now I will continue this until the end of this row and I will have eight beads of the inner circle and eight elements of the outer circle if you don't have this number of elements this means that you um, missed a hole or you did something like this and you should go in the beginning and do this again okay and i'll do this off camera and i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay and here i am guys at my last step where i need to add my last eight element consisting of three beads onto the outer circle and here I have eight beads inside and eight elements outside and now what I want to do is go through one of those red beads and I will fill in those gaps between the red beads with goldens okay take one golden and go through the following red one more golden go through the red okay one more 
okay and this row is really pleasant just fill in all the gaps and i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and i'm here where i'm adding my last bead from this row and what i want to do now is go reinforcing this part here Okay, and after I reinforce this row, what I want to do is go here at the outside row, just like this, and exit through one of my golden beads. And now what I want to take is three goldens, I skip this one here, the red one, and I go in my next golden, and when I pull, I have this red bead popping up from this side. And this will be the front of my earrings where those red beads pop up. Then I go in the following bead, the following golden bead. Take three. And I go back here. Then again, here. Three. And back. Through the golden. Three. And back. Okay guys, and now I will continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And now what I want to do is go in my next flower the same way I did before and go through the top three golden beads of this flower that I added in my last row. And I'm going to take just one chameleon bead and go in the next flower. Just like this. Then again, top three. One, two, three. One of those. Here between those two side golden beads. Then just like this to the top three, one, okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row. And what I want to do next is exit through one of those chameleon beads. Okay, just like this, let's say I'm exiting out of this one and I'm taking two chameleons and I go here at the top of my flower to the, through the bead that's sticking out the most. Then I take two chameleons, go here through the next chameleon between my flowers. Then I'm going to take two more chameleons go again through this flower here okay like this then i take two more and i go here okay guys and i'm going to repeat this until the end of this row two beads here at the top then through the next one and when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Don't forget to rewind the video if you don't remember how I did the previous steps. Okay, see you in a while. Okay, guys, and here I am almost at my last step. Where I'm adding my last two beads from this row. Okay, just like this. 
And now guys, I'm going through these two beads that I added last. And don't worry, at this stage it's curly, we'll fix it now. Okay, and I take one seed bead and I go through as many beads as I can in this direction. Okay, now I have this. Then through those two beads that I added and I'm exiting at the top where I have something like a hole between my beads. And I take one bead and I go through the next beads, okay? Then I go through the following two beads. Take just one. And go through the next. I will show you one more time. Go through these two beads, exit at the top. Take one bead. And go through the following. Okay guys, and I will continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row. And if you like how it works up until now, please like and share. You help me a lot with these steps. Okay, and now what I want to do guys is just go around reinforcing my work. This is not obligatory, but I find it really more beautiful when you do this step. Okay, and I will reinforce it and I'll be back. Okay guys, and as I reinforced my work, now I'm exiting through one of the edge beads here that's sticking out the most and what I want to take are seven golden beads. Okay guys, and now I have my seven beads here. And as I'm exiting from this edge here, I'm going through the next bead that's sticking out the most. Now I'm going to pick up seven more beads. Okay, I have here my seven again. And I go through the bead that's sticking out the most. Again, seven. Seven again and I go here through this one okay guys and I'm going to continue this and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and I'm picking up my last seven beads here and I'm go going here through the first uh, angle that I was exiting out of and now I'm going to do an additional thread pad to make angles everywhere, okay? So I go through these three golden beads here. And I skip the one that's on my way and I go through the next three beads. Just like this. And when I pull and push my bead to the outside, I have here an angle. And I will show you again, I'm going through three beads here. Skipping this angle bead that's on my way and going through the following three beads, just like this. Okay, now I have this angle. Then I go through the following three. Skip the one that's here at the center and go through the next three. Okay, when I pull I have this. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you how to finish your earring. Okay guys, and I'm here at my last step where I'm going through the last three beads of this row. When I pull I have this beautiful angle that I have everywhere. Now I will go through the first seed bead here after the inner angle and I'm going to take two chameleon beads and I will take my clasp in this direction because this is the front of my earring. Remember that the beads are sticking out from this side. Okay, slide those down. Then I'm going to take two seed beads and slide those down as well 
then I will go here through this angle one more time and when I pull you see this is the front of my earring sometimes it doesn't matter how you attach your clasp here at this project we have a front and a back okay now I'm going to reinforce and reinforce it several times and when you're ready find a place to make a knot and let's say I'm making my knot here at the inner angle of my earring okay I make here a loop like this and I go once then I go second time through this loop I've made I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull then I might repeat this knot several times and when I make my final knot what I do is that I go through the following C bead and after that I cut my thread as close as possible to my work Never cut next to a knot, always go through the following, okay? Now, what I have is this, my earring is ready. Okay guys, so now my retro dainty earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell button. And in this way, you will be notified uh, when I have new free uh, videos to inspire you and uh, you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. You see, I have a bracelet with the same pattern, believe it or not, but when you change colors, uh, here is what it looks like. You could also subscribe to my second channel where I show fast previews of my videos and in this way you could decide whether you feel like making them or not. And down there in the description you will find the full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. If you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page or on my Instagram page that I posted below this video. And don't forget to like, share and comment. Thank you helped me so much with this. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.